Digital Dispatch. Hey, is my microphone on? Let's check. Yes, it is, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, it's going. Welcome back to the exciting episode of uh, Digital Dispatch on JCMS TV. I'm in my slate. Yep. And um, we got a Keymailer game for review. It's called X4 Foundations with the X4 Timelines expansion. It's been a while since so I did a review. I was going to do a review the other week, but the game key that I had wasn't uh, working. Well, the key worked. The game didn't. So that one's been flagged, and um, I'll, if I can, if they fix the problem, I'll I'll play it. But um, it's a different game. I won't mention it because give the developers a chance to develop it. But this is X4. Now I have to kickstart this with the uh, well, put it this way. I wasn't going to review a copy of a space without knowing what the keys did first. In the process of learning what the keys did first, I had to play a little bit of it. In the process of playing a little bit of it, I got kind of hooked. <laughs> So, so I've actually now got quite a few hours in, uh, in, in this game, so I got it the other week. I uh, got it for review, like I said, but yeah, let's see, have a look. In the hours I've gotten it, we are looking at 25.3 hours, and it wasn't all just trying to get the keys to work. It was also like, exploring how the game works and you know, having fun, and um, I like it. So yeah, the game we're showing, once again, we're showing is X, X4 Foundations with the X4 Timelines are. Uh, Cover art's nice. They got a, they have a little thing I got for a press release to read out. Let's have a quick look. Embark in an unprecedented space odyssey with X4 timelines, the latest addition to the X4 universe. With thrilling new storyline which takes place outside of the X4 sandbox. Prepare yourself for colossal challenges and expect excursions into the depths of the X series lore and history. This is different. I have played X2, I played X3, Rebirth, I think it was called, and uh, Terran Conflict, and I've play, I'm playing now X4, uh, this one now and the foundations uh expansion is very different from the timelines because it's got more of an quest based it seems to me it's got more of a quest based focus and uh i was recommended to play foundations i'm oh, sorry timelines prior to foundations and in timelines there are unlocks that Applied to inside your, your base game. So let's have a look. This uh, the game's celebrated its fifth anniversary. It's four foundation been around for a while. Uh, let's see. Uh, they do have a strong modding community, um, and uh, that modding community has been around for a long time. I was playing these games back in the early 2000s. Uh, they do tend to be heavy on CPU, so you just have to do a bit of tweaking to make sure it runs smooth in your system. I've got an older system. I've got a, a i7 a i7 6700 oh, 6700 6, 600 k yeah sixth generation and uh, I've also got a Nvidia GTX 1080 you know I've got extra RAM 32 gig of RAM the game isn't so much graphics intensive as CPU intensive though and that's Something that you have to tweak a little bit to make it work. Same with the graphics. You've got to tweak it a little bit to balance the system out. Once you do, it looks all right. Bearing in mind, this is a management game as well as a space sim. So it's, it's a little bit different. Different. Uh, what else we got? Let's see. Revolutionary Expansion. Real Train. Video Embarkment. I'll see. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's get through the fluff. I always give you a real review. I don't tend to go into fluff. Uh, so you take on the rail role of a, a trader. Uh, the guy dies, <laughs> and then you wind up being saved just before you die because you didn't quite die. Uh, sorry, freedom. Uh, read, 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 read. Reimagine Talardi and Argon capital ships. So they've overhauled ship design. Uh, new sectors and landmarks that add in new systems. A new Xenon ships. Xenons are the aliens in this, and yeah, external camera view. They've got a lot of cameras in this game. The cameras are great. If you want to film yourself a space opera, this is a great game to do it. The AI is actually pretty good when it comes to coordinating things automatically. Um, I'm not just saying this. You guys have seen me review games before. If I say if it's shit, I'll tell you it's shit, and I've got no problem with doing that. It doesn't make me the most popular person, but, you know... This is an honest channel, so 
you know, and I said I've said that in my in my in my uh, in my blurbs on, on on where you get these things from, and as well, you know, I'll I'll tell it how it is. Uh, what else have we got? Existential crisis, new end game for veterans. Yep, I'm not a veteran at this. Continuous engine, I'm a noob. And improvements, so they, they've updated the game engine in the, over, in the five years. Enhanced button remapping, so they've actually gone a bit all out on their on their on their update. Uh, it's not like it's you know, a game that's been around for for thirty years. This is, it's been around for five. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. In saying that, the game has been around for a really long time. It's been around for a really long time. Uh, the X series has been around for a very long time. It's yeah, it's 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 good. So anyway, that's enough reading and stuff. I'm over reading. There we go. Close that window down. Let's play some game. I'm thinking. Let's play some game. Should we do uh, a? Let's jump into the basic ship first. And show you what we got going on. Let's jump into the basic game. This is the save I've been working on. And uh, if you know me, you know that I like challenging myself. For example, when I play Fallout, I don't wear power armor. We've got the Wingnut Wayne series up to episode 65 or 66 now. I don't wear power armor. I'm still using a pipe rifle. And uh, I'm a really high, well, high enough level, 54 or 55 or something stupid. So the enemies are moving quick. And we wind up taking a lot of dirgs to get through that game. But... <laughs> This is different again. This is Space Sims. I've been playing a lot of these. I started with Freelancer. That's no, well, started with the original Elite. That was a long time ago. And I wasn't, I wouldn't really say I was any good at it. But Freelancer was my first real major Space Sim. And then we had, um, from that, we, we I went on to Eve Online. From that, I went on to, I was playing X at the same time, the X, X2, X3, and uh, the, the two expansions for X3. And then I went on to. Uh, Elite Dangerous and No Man's Sky. There was a big gap in my life with no space sims, but I was a professional musician at the time, so there was no time to play games. So, uh, yeah, here we are, back in space again. I left Elite Dangerous a while back, wasn't happy with it. Even still, I'm not happy with it. I loved it, but I don't, I'm not happy with it. If you're going to do a game, do it in a way that, you know, how am I going to say it? That game is a multiplayer game. It's a single-player multiplayer game. Uh, I didn't like it. This is a single player game, so apparently there's multiplayer coming into it. I haven't explored that option of it yet. There is a multiplayer aspect to this. I have not explored it. I can't really comment on it. I will mess with it. I will be playing this a little bit, I think, So and probably streaming it a little bit more. Uh, so, yeah, let's just start up my save. So, yeah, like I said, I like pushing myself. <laughs> so, as a noob, I did a basic ship upgrade after working at how ships upgrades and that'll work. And then... Uh, and then I got myself a, a new spaceship that wasn't the starter ship. And then I took on a mission that was medium. And my ship's probably, was definitely not <laughs> the right build for it. But like I said, I'm a noob. But just to give you an idea of what, hey, bad how you're going, you're about to get a look at, this is the, a point in the game where I was trying to work out how to solve a problem. That's what I love about these games, they're problem-solving games. This is a problem-solving game. And um, it's a sandbox. Pure sandbox, and yeah. So I was trying to solve the problem of how do I scan this station. I still got other ideas going through my head. I don't know how long it can survive in a, in a evac suit and how fast it will take to get picked up by a ship. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I will show you the problem. So you join us as we are flying through a hostile system, and with that I'm drifting, flying through a hostile system. I've got to go on space. Scan this base. Now this is a mission that's above my level. It's above my pay grade. But I'm going to go and scan that base. And when we go to that base, as you're about to find out. How far away are we? Station. Not very far. You'll see that there's a lot of enemy activity around that base. I still haven't worked mechanics out of this game 100%. I've worked a few things out. I like the flight mechanics. They're quite decent. You will need to do a lot of remapping to make sure it suits you, I feel. Because, uh... The way the keys are set up, well, that's great, but it's not the way I play my game. For example, rolling left and right, I use, like to use the A and D keys. But I spend a lot more time rolling than I do strafing. And uh, the strafe key Hazardous I've got there as well on the Q and E keys. Most people have those things flipped. But I don't know. When you come, when I play, I've been playing with uh, space for a long time, and that's just popped with me. I also have pitch up Mac. Here's a little tip. Every space game that allows me to do it, I put pitch up on the uh, thumb, on the space bar. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. 
to help you stay on target with some things while you're doing other stuff, for example. Alright, here we go. This is the enemy station we're coming up to. And you'll see the problem I've been experiencing trying to get past this level in a second. We'll just do a dummy run. You'll see we've got red popped up in our radar already. I've been locked onto. You can change your alarm sounds in this, which is pretty cool. This is the hostile station I'm supposed to scan. Let's just go into camera mode so I can see what's going on. Get a look at it. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Got bad dudes flying around me. But yes, I need to go and scan this. Am I scanning it? Was I just. No, I wasn't. I've got to scan that station. That's what I've got to scan. That thing right there. The problem is, that let's hit the cameras up. I'm not 100% with the cameras yet. I've been experimenting with them. I've got enemies around me and enemies coming in on me. And they keep on spawning in and coming at me. And they hit hard. They do hit hard. So, let's go and do another run around to start. Kill this engine or flip around again. I'm in mouse flip mode now. This is another example of why I like having the button uh, for uh, uh, pitch up. So I can do this. Normally I have shift and down. I don't have it set to this yet. <laughs> I should. Uh, but yeah, so here we are flying backwards. That's what we're looking at. I need to scan that thing. To scan it, I need to go into scanner mode. As soon as I do that, my ship slows down. So it slows down to a certain point. Let's give it a go though. Because I've died so many times here, five or six, while working it out, that it's not funny. But we might get it this time around, who knows? Let's just uh, bring back to mouse flight for me. Alright, so here we go. Going to give this a crack. Can we scan it? I'm going to try and strafe it. Intense concentration. I'm going to hit the scan mode. Just going to kill the engines. I'm going to try and get the 25% or whatever scanning it needs. For this mission that is way above my level. I'm probably going to die a horrible death, but how you get that in the big jobs? Let's try at 25. Danger. Hazardous region detected. I'm going to go into free flight mode. Whoops, bounced off it. Let's get us out of here. I've got it, but get me out of here. Get me out of here. Ejecting. No. Nah. <laughs> Emergency eject successful. <laughs> and that's the experience that I love to have in a space sim. I that's what I love. I love the balls to the wall, adrenaline kick. Fucking go, 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 go. Trying to do something Danger. that's above your pay grade. Do I have to do this mission? No. Can I do this mission? Maybe. But the thing is, I've got choice. That's the big thing. A lot of games don't give you a choice. You play uh, an MMORPG, right? And they say, oh, these enemies are too powerful for you. And you can't do any damage to them. You can't, you know, you know, you're locked to that little fucking area until you get to a certain level and then... You're great for that new area, and the old area doesn't give any more value or benefit anymore. There's no reason to go back and finish all those quests and stuff. In this game, it's different. You've got choice. I can go and bite off more than I can chew and keep on chewing if I want to. You know what I mean? And I can go back and do the simple shit otherwise as well. Um, on top of this, let's have a quick look. This is the map. As you sit here in our spacesuit, 
you know, regretting our life decisions. I've only been to a few little pieces on the map at the moment. The map's a lot bigger than what you're actually seeing. I just haven't unlocked, unlocked much of it. This is just in my, you know, being a playthrough. Danger. Hazardous region detected. And yeah, so and in each, each part of the map, I don't have any satellites down or anything. But, actually I do have one satellite over here, I think. Maybe not. No, that thing's dead. But yeah, there's, uh, there's, there's, you know, different things in each system, and you can actually see ships and ships flying around if you've got satellites deployed in those areas to watch them fly around. And so, what I'm going to do is going to jump out of this. Let's go into, let's go into the start menu. Let's play timelines. Here we go. This is timelines. Uh, let's reset timelines. We'll reset it. Yes, I'm sure I want to reset timelines. So we'll start it from the beginning so you can get an idea of what it looks like. I only really started the game, you know, to set it all up and uh, work out the buttons work and I switched across to the, to, the, to the open world mode. So you, we really haven't missed much on timelines. Uh, it's not too much for me to go back and do it. Well, I got to again. It's basically a race as far as I got. I'll be quiet. At this point in time, I'll stop talking and let the game speak for itself. It's not the best when it comes to like character acting and shit. Uh, it's bare bones in that respect, but it's a start, and I can. I'm wondering where they're going to take it. You know, what I mean, this could be the new Elite Dangerous. So. Hustling the border territories is a risky business. Sure, there are opportunities, but there's always some rancid chancer waiting to take you down. I've made and lost a fortune in credits. Twice now. But I'm on the way up again. And this time, I'm going to stay there. But first I have to shake off the damn pirates. Looks like you're having a bad day. What the? You, you've stopped time? Not quite. It's an impedance bubble. Kind of complicated to explain. But everything stopped. Impedance bubble status green. Look, we don't have much time. You're basically stuffed. Flaming death the moment <laughs> this fucked. bubble collapses. Impedance bubble status green. I can get you out, but you'll never have this life again. Everything will change, and I can't promise that you'll like all the changes, but you won't be dead. Kind of like Pewee. Impedance bubble unstable. Oh, this is useless. I've got to go. Impedance bubble status red. I'm in, I'm in. Get me out of here. Bubble collapse imminent. And then this happens. All right, so... Welcome to the facility. How do you feel? Before I answer, like I said, I love Space Sims. The voice acting and the modeling models that move around the interaction with the AI isn't something as intense as you'll find in, say, Fallout, Skyrim, Witcher. A lot of those games uh, where, 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 where uh, the characters are, have a lot more, I don't know, or some depth. I mean, I took an arrow to the knee, right? But there's a bit more depth 
in the way they interact with you. They don't just stand there looking at nothing. You know, this reminds me a bit more like Star Citizen's characters, but maybe a bit more developed. Because every time I've gone to Star Citizen, they've been uh, standing on top of tables and shit doing nothing. So <laughs> there's a little bit more developed than that. This is also something new, though. X doesn't do this, and this is a new thing. So I'm interested to see where this goes, because this could actually be pretty cool if it's something they focus on. They've got the gameplay down pat. A note in the gameplay, your PC is basically the server. So you might suffer frame rate issues when things get really big and hectic. That's been a feature of all the games. Um, you know, you, I remember playing X3. I wasn't able to go into my own home system because I just had too much stuff going on. So and when I did, things just frame rate dropped dramatically. I don't know about that with this. We'll see. Um, I think I will be playing this for a while, so we'll actually get to find out. Uh, and and the other thing too is, yeah, you sort of make sure that you've got your PC set up so that you've got a high priority of your CPU usage for it, you know, above normal, whatever it is that you, you do with your PC when you tweak things. So let's continue with the mission, and you'll see what I mean about the character actors and stuff. Um, fine, I think. Don't push yourself. Take your time. I'm Lissa. This is Tamingtal and MD, uh... Mission Director. Oh, I'm Harper. Harper Donnell. Where am I? The facility. I think this one has a hearing problem. It is your honor to meet me, Argon Donnell. It is also a pleasure to have more company in the facility. What is this facility? Where are we? I mean, where is this facility? Where isn't really the issue. It's good you're sitting down. You're in the year 2042. It's not too far away. You think about it. Hey, what are we in? What, that's, less than, that's less than 20 years away. Go Elon Musk, eh? I mean, wow. What? Time travel? Not exactly. It's complicated. The high-ups know the details, but to be honest, I don't really get it myself. Tell him about the missions. I'm getting there. I have to do missions for you? Yes. I told you that your past life is now left behind. You will never go back. But you're here for a reason. The same reason as the rest of us. This is the mission hall, where we execute missions on behalf of the high ups. Time travel missions? I think this one is damaged. He's not understanding the words you are saying. Do you understand the words we are saying? But living in Japan, Become trust me, I'm in Japan. It is perfectly reasonable for an organic creature to be a little confused under these circumstances. Harper, the missions are not time travel, but they seem like time travel. Don't stretch your cognitive limits trying to grasp this just yet. We have all been brought here to undertake these missions for the high ups, as Lissa puts it. And we don't get to leave the facility except on missions. I know it's not ideal, but it beats flaming death, right? Flaming death is kind of fun. We need to give this one a medical. Do you need medical assistance? Okay, okay. I get it. Great. Just relax and recover. Explore the facility. There's a room designated for you. Let me know when you're ready for your first mission. Okay, so that's... And then they go off and they stand in their places. They sit down. There's NPCs here. The Sir. NPCs have about as much life as the NPCs that you find in stations, except you get more options once they're in the stations. Now I can talk to these guys. Hello, Argon have you undertaken your first mission yet? No. I have not got around to it just yet. Ah, uh, you must be wondering about this place. And then you don't find out much information from here. This place is beyond explanation. The truth is unclear, but we are somewhere very special, and our missions are of great consequence. Who are these high ups? Who controls this place? The mission director is their emissary. Lissa and I have not seen them ourselves. We do not even know what they are, but they undoubtedly possess great power. We are honored to have been chosen by them. Three. What else can you tell me? 
And what do I need to know? Experience the missions. They will enlighten you as to your true purpose in life from this point on. And let's face it, the true purpose in life for us to play these missions is to unlock more stuff in the sandbox mode. Hey, I mean enjoyment, challenge, etc. Experience aspects of the lore that you might not have experienced before in the S4 universe. But that's basically why you're going to do it, right? Because people like stuff. They want new stuff and they put more stuff in for you. Which is great, you know, having a challenge to unlock things for your main thing as opposed to buy this DLC and then buy these skins and then buy this gameplay and then buy that. No, no, it's a lot more simple, you know what I mean? Gives us everything in one package. Thank you, you know, cool. And it goes to apply to previous shit, which is cool. I think it's cool. I'm just going to get I'm just back getting to my bearings. We're I'll going to the first mission. I don't this want to do too much of the game the because, number one, it's new. Number two, it's new enough that spoilers, and I don't want to have that experience ruined for you. We will play the first mission because you're going to be playing the first mission. The first mission is pretty standard anyway. We might even play the second mission. The first mission is the one that, that gets you thinking, I need to work out the controls of my space. Mission interface connection established. Glad to see you finally decided to earn your keep here. For the first mission, we'll take things easy. During the mission, so some you reading will be stuff. able to communicate with a copy of me that is uploaded into the mission with you. But it won't be direct live communication with the facility. A copy? Why? My intelligence is just too big and complicated. I've used the mission interface before, but it just glitches constantly. It's very annoying and leads to disappointing mission performance. It all just works more smoothly if we use simpler intelligences, such as yourself. Yeah, I can no 50. offense intended. Ready to go? Try not to vomit in my nice, clean mission interface. So let's do it, let's start this notice. Fast! Boost! What else is it saying for us? CEO's double. Kestrel sport. CEO doubt. Fast boost. Race. Fast. Kestrel. Something spirit, I think. Bit of gobbledygook on the screen there, and then. Right here in the beating heart of CEO South, we're back once more for another adrenaline-fueled race in this year's Nebula Open Cup. Today's thrilling event is proudly brought to you by Swamp Fizz, the refreshing burst of energy to get you through your day. And would you look at that? It's shaping up to be a stellar day for racing. The racers are geared up and ready to unleash their ships along this high-speed course. Today we have a new racer, ready to take on the established giants here. I am a noob, forgive me for my mistakes. Whoa! Shit! I missed the first checkpoint already. Did I get it that time? No, I didn't. We'll have to start this race again. Or not. Never say die. Never say die. Get me through it. Come on. Come on, let me through it. Close enough. There we go. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, I got one. Where's my next position to go to? I do not know. I do not know. Probably because I had flight this long the whole time. This is a, ex a problem. I'm sure he must be happy with that. As you can see though, the spaceship drifts. It drifts, as you can see. There we go. Yes, I'm going to lose badly. I know that for a fact. Well, what happened there? I drifted, drifted, I drifted too much. Ah, 
my kill engine button didn't work, and that's why. But I'm not in shovel mode, I'm flying a different way. Where are we? Here we are. Let's try this again. Where am I supposed to go? Right through that one. There we go. Thank you. You can see why I have to do your keys. As the racers come around the station, make sure you give them away. been laps. <laughs> Missed it. Fuck me. Alright, let's try it again. Slowly, slowly. Here we go. <laughs> In fact, I think that's worked something out. Lapped again. Oh, there's the finish line. I don't think I didn't know the lap yet. <laughs> Yeah, time way too long. Smacking an asteroid. These long straights really let the racers open up and show what their ships can do. Right, getting better. Oh shit! Bang! <laughs> and yeah, I get a kick out of this sort of shit. You know, I just get a kick out of it. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not so great with the controls, but it will come. I mean, that's just the nature of the game, isn't it? It will come. It's all practice, muscle memory. As it is, I do like the way they work. It's just there we go. Finicky with yes, race ships. And let's face it, I wouldn't be any good at driving a sports car anyway. I don't drive breakneck speeds around in sports cars every day. Put me in a Formula One car, there's probably going to be something wrong. I'd be an accident waiting to happen. Interesting thing about this is the uh, boost works on your shield strength. So when your shield goes down, there's that blue bar on the HUD. Oops, missed it. That blue bar on the HUD. When you haven't got any shield in, it won't give you no, no boost. So it is a game about serving your shield in combat as well as using the boost button. Which I thought is pretty interesting. So, yeah, are we going to fail this mission? Kind of, sort of. We're going to get a one star and I'm pretty sure. But it's one of those things that you can come back and play again. 
which, you know, I like that idea. Good roll. This course was first set up by young Talati, racing their modified transports. What a long way it's come. Let's start to get through the hoops. Oh, another round? Okay, let's see how we go. Whoops. You can't hit the structure. Doing good things in. Do you think they're hoping we didn't see that nudge? Yeah, like as, as you can see, you do get used to it once you do it. But the mapping is incredible. What I'm doing here at the moment is I work out how I'm gonna do this. Is I'm I'm boosting, I'm full speed aheading, which I can probably set by doing that. No, what's my full speed ahead button? I altered that button. I did change it. Well, I changed it too though. Set full speed. I don't know. I was holding the button down for now. That finish must have been disappointing I'm for us. Killing the races. engine. Better luck next time. I'm strafing. I'm trying to work out my drift. I got a one star. And I had a great time even though I'm And this is the thing, by replaying this mission and keep going, I can unlock shit. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna unlock, but you know, it goes up to level five. I don't know at what point it unlocks. I just know that it, maybe even, I think it might even be just having the one star and looks at just by doing it. But thing is, that gameplay wasn't the next four before. It's new. And uh, I enjoy it. I enjoyed having that kind of a mission. You compare that to the standard gameplay of X4, which is, you know, get missions and stuff. Um, yeah, it's very different. Let's just jump back. Digital dispatch. So I can stretch my arms. The. Yeah, the normal gameplay of X4 is sandbox. So you run around the 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 the, the NPCs you come across. Um, you know, uh, uh, it's all pretty bland, like I said. It, but it's it's not focused on the NPCs. The game is focused on the sandbox. It's focused on your. Um, uh, it's like a game of chess in space, is what it's like. Except you're not playing against one opponent. You're playing against about five or six or seven. You know, and. I, I dig that. I mean, you can you can take out stations. You can take out stations that are in the game that belong to people already, and then knock them out and and build your own. Or or, or, or you can build big fleets and go on to and, and support one faction over another faction, and then you can turn that original faction. You can do stuff like hacking stuff in games in, in uh, as a character, um, so that the enemy's turrets and shit won't fire. You can do all sorts of shit and. That's cool, you know. That's got a lot of options. There's a lot of options there 
for fun and problem solving. How am I going to do this next thing? And at the end of the day, that's what I love about these sorts of games. It's the problem solving. There's not many management games that get me. You know, I started with Red Alert and stuff as a management game. You know, those 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 top down sims. You know, where you you have to building, training, building, training. Your unit is ready. You know what I mean? And this game has that, but it's not the same. Uh, it, it's it's sandbox. It's not the same. But you can you can you can do a lot more with your time. And that's your valuable gaming time. And you don't mind using your mind to think, how am I going to solve this problem as part of that gaming time? Hell Let Loose, for example, is a game where you are also faced with problems and there's management shit to do in there on a smaller scale that's more tactical and strategic. This is tactical and strategic. You know, Hell Let Loose, you, you're pressured to make solutions. How do I get around the enemy to take that position? How do I flank him? How do I, what's the, what's the best way to defend this position? This has that in there as well, in the first person aspect. So let's take you for a flight in the first person shit. So let's show what that looks like as well. Let's go to a game. And let's load an earlier game. Let's load, uh, let's say, this one. Though this might still be in that, that system where I'm in that place trying to do that thing <laughs> and dying repeatedly. So let's do that. Let's jump back into the game. Digital dispatch. Oh, but I got a issue, and I think it might be because my PC is doing a lot of things. Digital right. dispatch. Give me a moment. I'll restart it. Just had it crash on me. Now the game only went down on me once when I was playing it off stream, and that was because there was an update happening in the background. So I. I'm pretty sure that the crashes I've, the two crashes I've had, I've only had two, um, when I was working with it in OBS, were bombers when I was testing it in OBS to set up everything, and I'm pretty sure that was a CPU thing. So I probably need to tweak my OBS, but like I said, I don't have a high-end system. I'm playing this on a system that, oh, thanks, mate. Thanks, Cody. But yeah, on this um, on this on this on this PC, it's not the it's not the most awesome PC. It just does the job, and I am playing a CPU intensive game while streaming, so I've got to take that into account. I don't blame that crash on on the on the on the uh, on the game so much. I think it's probably more linked to my CPU. But yeah, yeah, man, I've been messing with my shit heaps. <laughs> I got more shit to mess with too. <laughs> I'm rebuilding over yes as it is. You know, once again, there's things you can do to cut down the. Scotty knows this. I'm working on a new overlay setting and 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 uh, and uh, OBS progression for how I stream my games. And uh, he's given me a bit of a hand actually with some of the assets I'm using for it. And so yeah, the idea is once again to minimise to make everything work well on my system. I don't have the biggest and best system. If you're out there and you're a computer ga computer a computer manufacturer and you want to get some free advertising, well, you know I mean? I'm only joking. I'm not an influencer. I'm just me, JCMST, Slake, playing games, working hard to build myself towards an in real, real life stream setup. And along the way, making some friends, and, uh, having some fun and learning new skills. All right, here we go. Let's jump back into normal gameplay. Hit the old tab button there. Digital dispatch. So here we are in space again. We're just going to leave this system. I'm going to go back to... Where are we? On the map. I don't know where I am on the map. Try it again. Map M. What am I doing here? I don't know. There we go. Keep scrolling back. Alright, so I'm there. I don't want to be there. I want to be, let's say, over... Let's go over here. Let's go all the way over here. So we're going to go there. Alright. I'm going to handle the getting there uh, during this bit and I'll show you something new whoops too far there we go oh, enemy coming at me enemy shooting at me there we go 
so yeah, this is the way the game travel in this game is pretty freaking cool. And to better demonstrate the travel, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to get somebody else to do it for me. Um, the person I'm going to get is my little co-pilot. And but we're going to get out of danger first because the co-pilot has you know, not very high piloting skills. But I do have a high survivability rate against combat, even as a noob than the pilot does. You'll see what I mean in a second regarding pilots and shit. I'll show you that part of the game in a second. First off, though, let's get out of this so I can I can, I can do that. We are a little bit away from this state, aren't we? Oh, I'm not so far. Choice. I'm not so far away. So yeah, yeah. There we go. Hey, space, ladies and gentlemen. The final frontier. I can fly my camp, fly my spaceship in that view. Look at that. So you don't need. Look at that. You can even fly in third person view. That's pretty cool. Bad dudes again. Someone's got to lock on me for that weapons platform. We went past. I think it was a weapons platform. I think that's what it is. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Is it a weapons platform? Let's have a look at the key. Uh, legend. Legend. Just like Cody. Legend. Just like that. You legends. Defense platform, yeah, it was. Was it? Was it a defense platform? I, I think with guns on it, they can shoot me. I love that about this sort of shit, though. It's just like, yeah, it's just, um, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Buck Rogers of the 25th century, Bell Star Galactica. Cool. Not Star Wars cool, because they fucked that franchise up. But, you know, cool. Let's get through this. Once we get through this gate, I'll show you what I mean about the travel system and the piloting. So yeah, that racing mission that we just did, you'll see how that's Danger. different Hazardous from what, what normal detected. gameplay is. And that's, like I was saying, that's interesting that the Foundation's DLC is has gone in a very different direction from anything I've ever seen from X before. So. Oh shit, hit the wrong button. Don't lose your speed. Don't lose your speed. There's bad dudes knocking off you. Don't lose your speed. This is the button I'm meant to hit. <laughs> Just look around, see things. Alright, here we go. About to show you something different. This is another feature of the X games that I like, and this is especially prevalent in this game because in X3 you couldn't do this. Not the same. It wasn't the same. This next thing I'm about to show you. You'd always be sitting in a ship cockpit Danger. before, Hazardous I remember. Region detected. You get a ship to fix it, that's about it. Let's get through this gate. Yeah, so do I, back home. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's, it's a lot different. This is a lot different from that. Am I getting... We get through this. this is, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt. We're boosting. I think I just got drive disrupted. I'm not 100% sure. It was booster for all I'm worth. Get me through this gate in one piece, please. Get me through, get me through, get me through, get me through the gate. Oh, I didn't make it. Emergency eject successful. Can I go through the space capsule pod thing? Hazardous region detected. Look, those two spacesuits space over there. Suit. That's my little crew I was about to introduce you to. Oh man, I love it. Let's load a different game. Let's load a game that's a little bit back further. Where are we? 27. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh maybe. Let's try this one. Let's try that one. That's probably the earliest one we've got. Probably got. Uh, no, no. Or maybe. I don't know. Let's find out where we're at. I might not, I don't think I went to the system. I think I loaded, I saved this game just to show you guys. So I hope we can go back a bit forward, a bit further.
Because, yeah, I wanted to show you is that, 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 that part of it, the biting off the wall that you can chew a bit, like we mentioned earlier in the video. But what I want to show you is the ability to have the AI do tasks for you on a uh, first-person way and then as a uh, through-the-map way. I've only got one spaceship. But you can control entire fleets in this. You can set up fleets. You can you can micromanage, or you can leave a lot of it up to the AI. Um, yeah, and if you've played X before, you know what I mean. That part of the game hasn't changed too much. Where are we? Oh, great. We're not in a bad place. All right. All right. Let's get out of this now. What I want to do here is fly us to here. Now check this out, this is pretty cool. Uh, let's fly us to the... that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out of the ship thing. Uh, where are we? What's my button for that? Again, probably that one. That, was that one. There we go. Just gets a speed up. Wasn't that one? That one? No. Was it this one? No. Was it that one? That'll do it. Quasar Vanguard. So you'll see out comes this little person, this lady. She's got Captain Sir. One and a Half polling one a bit. She's an AI that I've hired to fly this ship. I can look around this ship. I can give her an order. And to get this ship to be flying to the mission point, all I need to do is I click on the ship that I want to select. In this case, the ship that I'm standing on. So we'll go to the ship here that I want to select. Yes, I don't have the map buttons all fully mapped the way I would normally do them, but I've only been working with flight control at this point in time. So yeah, I click on this to select it. I zoom back out and I zoom back in where I want to go. I can use keys and that to move things around faster, I realize. <laughs> I'm a noob. I want to go there, so I want to go there and dock. Last order could not be completed. Why not? Why can't I dock there? Is there no dock in there? I oh, saw so defense platform. Let's try that again. Because I'm a noob. Let's try using these keys again too for doing the map. There we go. So I'm here. Select me. Let's go to... Bum, 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 bum. Is there a place I can dock here? How about this factory? Let's go to this factory. Ah, I pressed the button wrong again, didn't I? My bad. That's operator error. Here we go. There. To. There. Dock on wait. Last order could not be completed. Why can't you do that order? I don't know why you can't. Ah, because I just loaded the save in and you're still loading in. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's saying time. Look at that. It's got a time thing on it. What's that time thing for? What does that icon mean? Time. I'm not sure what that means. Let's have a quick look. Requesting permission to dock. A quick look at time that means. Uh, legend. Is it on the legend? I wonder. Hourglass. For an hourglass. There it is. Hold position. Okay. Why is it being told to hold position? I don't want to hold position. Uh, Quasar Vanguard. Yeah, 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 whatever. Let me take control for a second. Quasar so I can Vanguard. See what happens. Boost forward. There we go. Out of the ship. <clears throat> sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full, sir. What she gets. Oh, I'm an equal opportunity employer. There we go. Oh, shit. Wrong button. 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 Let's try that again. I am but a noob. Try it again. Get up. There we go. You go get in the thing. Off you go. I hit the map. You sit in the chair. Now what's this? Now it's got a little 
thing next to it. What's this? I don't know. Let's try something simple first. Let's try. There we go. We're doing it. She's moving. Okay, so let's try again. I want to go to here. Maybe there's a problem with how I'm doing my thing. Last order could not be completed. Probably because I'm hostile, so I might have shot somebody. How about there? Let's go there. Can you do that? Yes, you can. All right. So now she's flying the spaceship. Quasar Vanguard. She's flying the spaceship. I'm not flying it. She's flying it better than I can. This is a bit funny working out how to do this. I haven't quite got the knack of it, but when you get the knack of it, when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. There are highways in this that you can ride around on. Then you've got different gates that they send you through. There's slow lanes and fast lanes on the highway. We just change Entering system. Entering system. Second contact. This is the standard speed for the game. We're switching highways for some reason. She knows where she's going better than I do. Ah, because we're flying out to the spot that she wants to go to. No, it's not the gate we're going to. There we go. So we're flying across space to a different gate. And it's not me flying, it's her, which is cool. So while that's happening, I'm free to do other things with my management game. I've got a taxi service. I don't need to worry about doing stuff. I just want to go to one position and then see what happens. Why am I getting timeouts on this thing? What is that? I don't know. I don't understand what that means. Old position or something. I don't know what that means. Anyway, I'm a noob. If you know what that means, feel free to let me know in chat. Because I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I can see myself playing a fair bit of this, and I can see myself doing something creative with this, which is probably the bigger thing. As you know, I like to make videos and stuff, and um, and uh, yeah, I like experimenting with video shit. Now, where are you going? Why are we going so slow? There we go. Entering system. Black hole sun. Won't you come and wash Plus away the Bang rain, on. black hole sun? Anyway, so the graphics are pretty good, you know. She, there's her, the afro down, rocking that bun on top of her head with braids, what they're called. And so, yeah, this is, um, yeah, it's the game. I like it. I think it's pretty good. So, there's an example of what the AI can do for you. She'll fly in a dock to the other spot we're going to. While that's happening, if you have stations and stuff, you can right-click them, you can uh, give the things orders. Uh, there's a property menu that shows all the property that you own. I own nothing except for one chip. Uh, <laughs> there is station subordinates for the properties you own, the people that work there. There's your fleets. There are your unassigned ships, like what I'm in right now. There's ships for inventory, like trade ships and shit, moving shit around. There's deployables like satellites, pla um, uh, your own defense platforms and laser turrets and shit that you can deploy as well. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, this is your mission office offers that you got. As you can see, I've taken a, 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 a difficult mission. A lot. This one I'm on there right now. Here we go. This one, this is the ones that we've been having a crack at. And they're medium level missions, and I've been dying. But then again, I am but a noob in a noob ship. It's the first ship I bought after getting the starter ship, and I think I lost plenty of the deals. So. So, what else we got? Uh, pilots. So I can manage the pilots that we've got. Uh, plots, sorry, plots. And the plots are pieces of land that you can buy in the universe and build your own stations and shit there. Which is pretty cool. It's a player base, it's a player home. X has been doing it for a long time. This time around, you're going to be able to walk around inside the thing, which I think is pretty cool. Um, what else do we have? Let's go to a different menu. Let's go to this menu. Uh, not that menu. I want a different menu. I want the ship menu. There we go. This is my Quasar Vanguard. So it tells me all the information I need to know about the ship. I can also get the same information about other ships if I scan them with my scanner. 
Uh, I've got a police scanner on this thing, which lets you look into the cargo hold. It's illegal to use without a police license. You can get that. I don't have one, but you can get that. But there's your piracy gameplay coming for as well. You can commit acts of piracy in this. Space pirates is a thing. Why with hacking stuff? Uh, what else? There's the crew that I've got. I've got crew. I've got two crew. One person's a service crewman. That, that's the person that I've got the engineer in the, in the, in the hold of my ship. Locked her down there. She's not a very good engineer, but hey, it didn't cost me. She didn't cost me much money, and she keeps the fucking thing pumping. <laughs> so forming a part on me. So then we've got our pilot as well, and uh, yeah, one, two. Hang on, I got two service crewmen. One, two. I got done. That's the one I bought to move the ship around. There's something happening over here. Oh, there's more ships and stuff in space. There we go on the map. I don't have a satellite or anything set up. If I did, you'd be able to see the same sort of information wherever the satellites are set up in the universe you can see stuff moving around around you you can see you know bits of object in space um what else have we got uh the pilot of my ship i got i didn't realize i had three people working for me i thought i only had two now no i've got three so i don't really want that person so we'll get rid of that person but so yeah this is the pilot i've got flying the ship i can replace that person with another one of these people as well elevate them the more they use their skills, the higher they level up. You can also get training for them in the form of seminars, which you can buy, and you can deliver a seminar over communications link, open communications link. In some ways, it's a bit funny working out how to do shit within the menus because it's a little bit convoluted sometimes. It feels that way. Like, why can't I just go and do this there? No, you have to do it from the map menu, or you have to do it in this way. No, I did spend a little bit of time looking up things like Reddit, YouTube. Uh, Steam forums, you uh, EGASOF forums themselves, to work out how the game works and how I can get the thing that I want to done. In one instance, I had to I had to save the game, reload the game, because I was having trouble with things. One thing I had problems with was button remapping. That could be a little bit buggy, but you can get around it. You can work around it. You know, I did a reset the default, then went to set the button that I wanted to be the button that it wouldn't let me do before, and then it let me do it the second time around. So that was good you know what i mean there's there's a few little bugs in it but it is a newer game so you know, it's i mean foundation has only been around for a short time it's still generating hop on youtube you know what i mean it's not like i got given a game that was like three years old and i'm grateful to your ego soft for doing so thanks very much for allowing me to showcase your game for today uh so yeah that's pretty much everything apart from when it starts getting even more deeper and deeper and deeper into things let's go for a walk on the station Alright, walking in stations and walking in ships, so I've done it way before other games tend to do it. Your little thing here that you can use to store your ship and stuff, enter ship, redesign your ship, paint jobs and stuff. Uh, I don't have paint jobs and stuff unlocked, so there's no real point in that. I can, however, change the logo on my ship. I can put my own personal logo on the ship. Where, is, where did I find that? I found it somewhere. Where did I find that? Was it in paint modifications or was it? Was it in here? I found a spot where I could do my own logo. Let's have a quick look at the escape menu. Was it in here? Was it in the this menu? Do not wave at the station. Let's find out. I'll take control of the ship briefly. See if I can do this menu. Vanguard. I didn't have time to put the JCMS TV logo on the side of the ship, but I'm pretty sure I can because it's uh, there's a folder you can put logos into and it will lay up the logos on. Where did I find that? Yeah, I found it in here somewhere. No modification store, train scanning, oh, this is my information, uh, filter settings, blah blah blah. Uh, instructions, behavior, load out, log book, load out, crude information. That's what basic menu manage pilots mode. Show transition log overview. Uh, system overview. Uh, logbook. You can put your own entries into the logbook, which is pretty cool. Uh, pretty short. Uh, 
was the bit where the logos was? I found it. I just don't know where it is. Let's try this. Let's see if it was in the station itself. But upgrade repair. Was it in here? Engines, thrusters, shield generators, weapons, software, consumables, crew, settings, sector travel. Uh, uh. Let's try something I haven't tried yet. There's one thing I haven't done in this game yet. And that is... Bazaar Vanguard. Press the help button. Is there a search feature in this? It's immediate. There's tutorials. Flight assist, up to steering, station building, station mode, combat scenario. There's tutorials. External resources. There we go. A whole pile of external resources for you. Uh, what else we got in here? Is that no search button? It'd be nice to have a search button or something you're after. Where was the logo thing? I don't know, but trust me, it's in there because I found it by accident by pressing all the buttons. And uh, you will too if you go hit Google up. And you, you know, you want to do that. But you can put your own logo on the ship. There are logos on the ship. I will uh, go for another station. So there's all these people hanging around that have their own stats. If I want to Hello hire that there. person, that person would cost me 135 you know, and a half Good luck thousand out there. K, whatever. There's another person somewhere, probably. We'll find one downstairs in here. Let's go to, say, the manager's office. There's a manager. They have their own stats as well. You can talk Hello to there. them. You can look at live streams to the outside of the universe. You can... You know, see what's happening outside. You can do all sorts of weird shit with the camera. Hello there. Try a, a like. I can hire this lady. She's only 8,280 credits. She's got, you know, these stats. So, yeah. Just, hey, you look like someone I know. Can I hire you? Yeah, why not? Let's hire you as well. Hey. <laughs> let's, let's hire you as well. Select roll, service crew. I don't have enough money. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> That's right, I spent it all trying to uh, adapt to that mission that I wasn't able to do. So, But, you know, that's another problem solving thing I love about the game. The economy thing. Goodbye. Good luck out there. So you can hire people. You can assign them to different ships. Um, I've only got one, otherwise I'll show you. Uh, yeah. There is trade place to go. There's crafting in this as well. So here's our trade dude and here's our crafting bench. And if you've got stuff you can craft then you can. You make stuff out of the resources that you pick up. I don't have any. I sold them for money. <laughs> but you can pick up things in space that don't go in your ship inventory, but go into your inventory. Kind of like materials that are, I don't know, I don't know if there's a weight limit. I don't think there is. There's probably a, a, an amount you can carry limit. I do not know. But there are materials you can pick up and then you can use them to craft different things like uh, better uh, upgrades to your ship, I think. Uh, not 100% sure. But it's there. And we'll find out. Because I do plan on playing this for, for, for a bit, and I, I'm i thinking we might make a space series based on this game. I haven't made a space game for a while on the channel, and I'd like to. So, this one's pretty cool. It's grabbed my attention. It's. Yeah, it kept my attention. Not only did it keep my attention, it kept 26 hours worth of my attention. There's a lot more to show in this game. This is really hard for me to show you. So. Digital dispatch. I won't show you right now. But we will work on it. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. This is X4 Timelines, which is the uh, latest expansion for X4 Foundations. What do I rate it? I'm going to give it a... I don't know. I <laughs> love the games. I give a pretty shit score out of 10. This is pretty hard. I actually, This game's actually kind of setting a benchmark for the upper echelon of the games up there. Let's say if 0 is never attainable and 10 is never attainable, I'll give this a 9. You know, I'll give this a 9. I'll give it a 9. Gameplay's great. 
No, put it's a management space combat sim. It's great. The visuals are great. Immersion is great. You do get sucked into it. It might not have all the bells and whistles that some games have, but you're sucked into this whole world of how to solve a problem, how to build this, how to do this, how to do that, and fleet space opera battles. It's space opera is what it is. Or it doesn't need to be. You can just be some poor schmuck role-playing his way around in a, in a trade ship trying to make ends meet, you know, to build up. Whatever you want to do, you're a role-playing dude. You can be a space pirate. You can do whatever you want to do. It's a sandbox. And as far as sandboxes go, it's I think it's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, yeah, you don't often see me excited about a game. You don't often see me do a Keymala stream that goes for an hour. <laughs> Normally go for about 20 minutes. This is gone for an hour. And it'll go for longer. And I'm not going to be able to make it go for longer. And that's because I was not set up enough in the game to show you more of what there is available. But, yeah, I will be adding this to it as a series to the channel. I'm making that decision now. In fact, in other news, the channel is getting a bit of an upgrade. Let's just jump back to our main screen. So, yeah, JCMS TV is getting a bit of an upgrade. I'm going to keep the digital dispatch. Wingnut Wayne has gotten up to the point where we have left... Uh, the main land, the, the main Fallout world, and we've gone to the first DLC, which is Far Harbor. So I'm looking at starting a new Wingnut Wayne series, taking a break from Wingnut Wayne for a while. We go back to him later on. There's a few other things I want to experiment with first. I'm looking at doing a zombies, uh, a, a, a zombie game next. I won't tell you which one. I'm just going to be doing it. I plan on adding zombie games to the channel. I am trying to maintain two to three streams a week. The reason why I want two to three streams a week is because it's sustainable. For me, working in the disability support services, it's not sustainable for me to stream every day for eight hours a day. I can't do the 24 hour streams. Nah, it's not gonna happen. I've gotta be responsible for my job. If I fuck up at my job, people could die. I work in uh, support work for people that have extreme disabilities, as in they can't speak, they're locked into the wheelchairs, They we, we do bathing, so we're talking immersing people in water when they... You can't hear someone drowning anyway, you know what I mean? In real, Whether they can talk or not. you got to be aware of what you're doing at all times while you're doing all the things you have to do. You know, scrubbing floors, cleaning bars, wax someone in the bath. You've got things you got to be doing at the same time. So I've got to be alert. There's times that I'll be on the floor and I've got a ratio to, ma to, 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 to manage. I don't know if you're a... You didn't know about that. But yeah, that's um that's my job. That's my job. I work in I work in uh, I bathe people with disabilities, you know, and you know, as part of a team, and we look after all of their needs, you know. We, so I mean, it's pretty full on. We help them do everything. Some people can't do things that you and me take for granted, and I mean health things. I mean bodily functions, you know. You know, we, we've got holes going into people's necks and holes going into people's stomachs with tubes poking out. You know what I mean? We've got. I've had I've had one client that I that 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 was you know. Uh, 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 up there when I first started until a couple of years later she passed away because the people I work with uh, is pretty extreme and so I can't do the eight hour everyday streams it doesn't happen on my end I've got a real life job that I work at three days a week and I stream on my off days and I take one day off for me uh, and, and my partner because streaming is also a job unto itself so and there's a lot that you don't see behind the scenes as well. There's also the time it takes to do things like make logos and work out how to make things say things like, ready? Inspire, motivate, and reward a streamer today. <laughs> the shout out spots. These animations don't make themselves. Speaking of shout outs, let's give Cannabis a quick shout out now. We're going to give him a shout out real quick. Because, yeah, thanks for dropping by, Cannabis. Cannabis is one of the Noob Under Fly crew that you will see in action on the weekends, which is another stream we do, the first person shooter group team stream. Uska! You can tell GTA when you see it, can't you? <laughs> what? What the fuck did I hit? Hey, <laughs> probably your monkey mask. <laughs> so. So yeah, those sorts of things. Digital dispatch. 
those sorts of things, these these stingers and that, they don't make themselves. I don't pay other people to do it. That's that's all me. Um, so, yeah, it's time. So I just want to say too, guys, thanks so much hanging out this afternoon. But I'm going to wrap up the first of the X streams here. But we are going to raid out. We're going to raid someone who's actually playing the game better than I can. There's probably quite a few people out there in that boat. Um, so we're going to raid someone there. It's going to be a new person that we've never seen before. The person we're going to raid is going to be... Let's have a quick look. I'm looking at the channels for Xful Foundations. I'm looking at viewers low to high. Because that's how I roll. Support a streamer who's working out how to do the game. Oh, look. There's me in the low to high section. In fact, there's not many of us in here. Let's actually see if someone who actually knows what they're doing. Let's go and raid this dude. He's got his camera going. He's the only other person on here with a camera going. Does he speak English though? No, he's speaking Deutsch. Do you know someone who doesn't speak Deutsch? Am I the only non-Deutsch streamer at the moment for this game? That would be pretty cool. No, this guy looks like he's speaking English. He's a big streamer. I don't normally raid a big streamer, but... Let's raid this guy, and he'll be able to show you more than what I can. I hope you enjoyed my little stream today. I really do, and I hope to see us in the future. Um, streams for the X4 game. I'm going to be adding this to my list. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. And bear in mind, we've been taking Wing Nut Wayne off for a bit. New episode coming. At least to be prepared for. And uh, we'll be playing some other game for involving zombies in the meantime. So, yeah, hitting the raid button now, ladies and gentlemen. You guys have been absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for your support. And I will be seeing you in the future. Let's get ready to raid out. Remember, noobs under fire every weekend. Check the schedule for the time zone. We play at 0 dark 30 UTC time Saturday nights. So, you check the schedule, you get your own uh, view. Nice. Nice, Bat. Look at that. Hey, hey look at that. Hey. <laughs> it's, I think it's pretty good. So let's put a raid now on someone who actually knows what he's doing. And we're going to raid this dude now. And uh, thanks so much for hanging out with me. We'll see you soon. Rock and roll. You guys have been awesome. Thanks so much for supporting the stream of the channel. I'm Slake, and you guys rock.